Oh my god, is this the end of GPU shortages? Finally, why? And Nvidia just did gamers really dirty. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 20% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So as many of my viewers are probably painfully aware, yes, we have been suffering from GPU shortages for over an entire year at this point, and there are three main contributing factors as to why you can't just buy that new graphics card for a reasonable price. The first reason being there's actually just a huge increase in demand coming from gamers, of course, that was going to happen as gaming started to become more and more popular the second reason and this is a big reason in the u.s at the very least that i know right now is that especially right now during the holiday season we are facing a lot of shipping issues as more and more people are starting to order things online and the third reason and this is a big one yes mining is a huge contributing factor as to why you can't buy that new graphics card now i know there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna argue till they're blue in the face that somehow mining has absolutely nothing to do with it but we can look back at history and it is very clear and obvious yes mining is definitely a huge part of that but why am i talking about all this well it looks like just yesterday ethereum which is the main cryptocurrency that people have been mining on their gpus and buying tons of gpus to go ahead and mine actually took a pretty big tumble how big of a tumble well it was around forty six hundred dollars it dropped to around thirty seven hundred and fifty dollars so nearly a twenty percent drop in its value and so of course this did start to spur all kinds of people celebrating on twitter who are people who just want to buy graphics cards and they're not interested in you know ethereum mining whatsoever of course the crypto mining community definitely sees this as a bad thing so there's going to be some arguments over whether or not this is a good or bad thing but a lot of gamers definitely were seeing this as a good thing and celebrating it over on twitter i saw video cards for example celebrating it there was a lot of people just talking about how this could potentially be a good thing for the whole gpu market it definitely has been spurring some conversations over whether or not we are looking at the beginning of the end for gpu mining at least in terms of its massive popularity right now and so that's what we're going to talk about because you know is this really the beginning of the end is a nearly 20 percent drop something to really get excited about or is this kind of a nothing burger and it's going to take a little bit more time well let's go ahead and take a look at that so if we take a look at ethereum before this all started it was around maybe like 1500 or 1800 us dollars and then shortly after the release of the rtx 3080 it began to skyrocket and at some point in 2022 it nearly hit 5000 us dollars for its all-time high so you can see that is a massive increase and even if this 20 percent drop in ethereum did sustain itself which by the way it didn't it's actually all the way back up to $4,150 well even if it did stay at $3,750 I just don't think that's enough to actually make ethereum mining go away in the long term it would have to drop way way lower in my opinion at least I think if it dropped like maybe below $2,000 you would start to see some miners start to pack it up or go to other cryptocurrencies but speaking of other cryptocurrencies I think the only way you'll see you know ethereum mining go away in the near term is once it moves to proof of stake which by the way according to the washington post should be happening at some point in 2022 i believe it's probably going to be happening at some point in mid 2022 but things change pretty rapidly and we'll just have to wait and see and so you know even when things move to proof of stake and you know ethereum mining basically goes completely away there still are going to be some other cryptocurrencies that people are going to mine now they're not going to be as profitable as once proof of stake hits and all these other miners start to you know migrate to other coins or sell off their graphics cards it is going to drive up the difficulty those other coins so they're definitely going to be less profitable and this might lead to miners buying less and less graphics cards but if you're expecting everyone to suddenly sell off all their graphics cards i do think a decent portion of them are going to keep them in mind those other currencies even if they do become significantly less profitable so you know even though in 2022 and i do believe probably sometime around mid 2022 things are drastically going to improve in terms of cryptocurrency miners probably buying less and less of your gpus i don't think this is going to you know be the hail mary that a lot of people are expecting i don't 
don't think you're gonna suddenly see millions of graphics cards hitting eBay like we've seen in the past. I think this time things are gonna be a little bit different and although there is gonna be significant improvement, it isn't going to lead to like suddenly, you know, 3080s dropping from $1,500 to $700 overnight. I think the price inflation, uh, you know, considering that inflation has been a thing this year is going to stick around and I think maybe the best you'll see out of a 3080 is like 800 to 900 US dollars. Hey, that's still a huge improvement over 14, 1500 dollars. But again, if you're expecting $700 or less, I think you are going to be a little bit disappointed. But now let's go ahead and talk about how Nvidia is doing gamers dirty as it looks like at least according to tech power up the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte, which a lot of us were hoping was going to be a savior for gamers as it should be, you know, being produced on TSMC's 12 nanometer versus the current Samsung 8 nanometer and TSMC 7 nanometer that Nvidia and AMD are producing all their cards on. We're hoping that it would allow them to make a bunch of these cards and sell them for very cheap, but it looks like cheap isn't going to be an option as unfortunately, at least according to Tech Power Up, it looks like there is not going to be a Founders Edition and here's what they had to say about it. Quote, Nvidia has updated their website to remove the quote, Founders Edition part from their specs page. We confirmed with Nvidia that there will be no RTX 2060 12 gigabyte Founders Edition, only custom designs by their various board partners. Now you might be wondering, how is this Nvidia doing gamers dirty? And if you don't know, well, unfortunately recently, if there isn't a Founders or Reference Edition available from Nvidia or AMD, when it's up to just the board partners, they tend to raise the price even further. So unfortunately, even though I was expecting the 2060 to MSRP at around 300 US dollars, somewhere around there, it's very likely that you're gonna have to, you know, staple on an additional 50 to $100 minimum for the absolute best price that you'll be able to get this card for, at least in the near term, until things start to, you know, correct themselves in 2022. So unfortunately, it looks like when this card launches, you probably won't be able to buy it for $300. Probably at best, we're talking $350 or $380, which is an absolute ripoff for this card. But hey, I guess it's still a significant improvement over buying a 3060 for 650. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think the whole GPU situation is gonna fully resolve itself? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you wanna see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.